Hello friends, I am Sushri Khanilwal, Assistant Professor in Biani Institute of Engineering and Technology. I welcome you on the behalf of Guru KPO. Today I am going you to deliver a lecture on operating principle of phase locked loop. So first of all I will tell you that what is phase locked loop. Phase locked loop is a circuit which generates a frequency which finally detects the difference between the input frequency and output frequency according to which it corrects the output frequency so as to synchronize or lock the input frequency of phase locked loop. So in other words we can also say that phase locked loop generates a signal which has phase and its relation is same as reference signal that is input frequency. So first of all we talked about the block diagram of uh, phase locked loop. Here there are three blocks of phase locked loop. The first one is phase detector, second one is low pass filter and the third one is VCO. VCO means voltage controlled oscillator. Here phase detector. Phase detector is a comparator which compares the uh, difference between the input frequency and output frequency and finally it gives a voltage that is DC voltage which is directly proportional to the difference between input frequency and output frequency and the phase detector is followed by a low pass filter here then the uh, phase voltage here you know, we can say that error voltage is uh, input of low pass filter and the working of low pass filter is to attenuate the high frequency components of error signals means it attenuates the high frequency components of this error voltage and finally the output of low pass filter sends to VCO after amplifying means after amplifying the output of low pass filter it is applied to voltage control oscillator and again the uh, VCO generates a frequency and the VCO voltage that is VF controls the output frequency in such a manner that the output frequency becomes equal to input frequency or we can say that the output frequency or we uh, or we can say that the difference between the input frequency or output frequency is reduced in a to a minimum level. So then finally the output of VCO is sent back to the phase detector and if the difference between the input frequency and output frequency is a minimum then the feedback mechanism then the feedback mechanism of phase detector uh, then the uh, then the two frequencies of phase detector becomes equal and in this way the output frequency becomes equal to input frequency or we can say that output uh, frequency becomes log or it equals to input frequency. So this is all about the working of PLL here uh, in last we can say that when the AC signal is not applied when there is no input signal then the phase detector output is zero at this time VCO works at its free running frequency or we can say that VCO works at its center frequency here the free running frequency is also called as center frequency and when an input signal is applied then the phase error applied and in such a way when the phase error is applied then the working of control system acts uh, in such a way that uh, VCO it means VCO controls the output frequency in such a way that it becomes that the output frequency becomes equals to input frequency. This is the basic principle of PLL. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more details you can log on to www.gurukpo.com.